expected. Another human? Who fell down here by mistake. What a surprise. I guess it makes you the clumsy and stupid type. Not to be mean or anything. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. You can consider me your first friend down here. It might seem harmless, but don't be so naive. Seeing as, down here... It's eat or be eaten. Such is the rule of our world. Jeez, you look like the saddest human alive. Okay, okay, I didn't mean to scare you. Well, what's your name? Huh, well, an interesting name. I've never met a kid with such a name. Well then, welcome to the underground. Some time ago, it was a blossoming and lovely place. But it's all in the past now. We don't have much time. She might be coming. So I'll tell you this much. This place is more dangerous than hell. Especially for you, human. All of this is because of one psycho queen. Damn her. Hmm. Here, put me in your pocket. Seeing as none of us want to stay here, maybe together we can get out of this place. So what do you think, human? Well then, why don't we get a move on that? What a horrible creature, torturing such a pure, innocent youth. Oh, oh please, don't cry. Don't be scared, my child. You're safe now. There, there, it's all right. Shh, it's okay. Dry your eyes. Everything is okay. Ah, that's better. I'm so glad this vile weed hasn't managed to hurt you. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Toriel. I'm the caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. Poor child. You don't look too good. You must be very hungry. Let's go. I'll take you to my house and cook something to eat. Here, follow me. This place is called the Ruins. The Ruins are an old place filled with puzzles. Ancient nets of traps and keys. Ah, these buttons? There used to be a puzzle, but it's no longer working. Time has left its mark, it seems. There are a lot of puzzles instead. You'll have to solve them. They, however, will be... less broken. I hope they will manage to brighten your mood. Now come, dear. Adventure shall not wait. Fantastic job, my child. You've done so well in these puzzles these last few rooms. Now, for this room. I had one task in store for you, but... Why don't we unwind a little bit? Let's rest from the heat. It's a long way, so take my hand. That'll make me feel better. What's that, my child? Oh, you want to learn something about me? It's not like I have much to tell. I'm just a silly old lady who loves children. 
And I don't like to boast, but I'm the only monster in the ruins who makes great pies. I remember that I once won the family monster pie competition. I can still feel its taste. I put a figure of a little monster on that pie. It had white fur and cute little ears. It seemed so tiny and even reminded me of an angel in a way. <sighs> this pie was one of a kind. I'll treat you to it sometime, my dear. Oh? <laughs> Truling already? All right. Since you seem so interested in my pie, let me ask you something. What do you like more, cinnamon or butterscotch? Hmm? Both? Perfect! Thank you for the information. I'll remember that. You seem to look better, child. It seemed that puzzles amused you too. <laughs> They always make a good job of it. Let's go. There are more puzzles to solve. Alright, and here we are. Home sweet home. Now I know it doesn't look like much on the outside, but I promise it's much more homey on the inside. Well, don't just stand there. Come on in. Welcome to Toriel's home, child. I didn't expect any guests, so this place may be a bit messy. There are probably some things lying around, among other things. But I promise it's still very homey. Um, you aren't allergic to dust, are you? Oh, good, good. I'm going to thoroughly clean the house, so don't you worry one bit. I want to think that you can have some real nice times here. Now come now, I want to show you something. And here it is. Your own room. It's a little bit gloomy. But I hope you'll like it. <laughs> oh, and... Here. Here's a humble present to you. Oh, you're such a cutie with this bow. I'm glad to have found it. Another child forgot it here a long time ago. Unfortunately... She wasn't so... Well behaved. A little pushy and a naughty girl. I'm sure you would understand. It's hard to get along with such people, but I believe humans can change over time. Do you agree with me? <laughs> well, aren't you just a well-behaved little one? What a relief. It's such a pleasure to be around such children. Well, this room is at your disposal. You had better look around for now. My modest library holds a lot of interesting books. Don't be shy to take them. Help yourself to anything that you want. And just make yourself at home, dear. Oh, that reminds me. Before you settle down for the evening, I baked a pie for us. Let's go to the kitchen and have some. It should be nice and cooled down by now. Alright, there we are. All settled down. A nice slice of pie and a nice cup of golden flower tea. I hope they are to your liking. Are they... satisfactory? Oh, they are? Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Now, I was thinking... 
that perhaps after we eat, maybe we could read together. Like I said, I have a small little library filled with plenty of books, so I'm sure you'll find something that interests you. And after that, I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. It's such a delight to catch bugs. Just catching them with your little net, and then releasing them, and watching them fly away. Or hop away if they don't have wings. It's the little things that make you happy down here. But I'm sure that you'll find plenty of joys down here, little one. I'm sure of it. <laughs> You've already devoured your entire slice of pie. My, my. What a compliment. I'm glad that you enjoyed it, little one. It makes me so happy to know you enjoy my cooking. Oh. Are you feeling sleepy, little one? Oh, my child. You must have had a long, stressful day. And given that you fell so high all the way down here, you must be in a lot of discomfort. My apologies for not noticing sooner. Here, why don't I carry you to bed? I'm sure those little legs of yours must be exhausted by now. That's it, little one. Just relax. Toriel's got you. Alright, and there. All tucked into bed. Apologies if the bed smells like mothballs. Again, this place hasn't been visited for quite a while, and... This room has been empty for just as long. But I promise, I'll tend to the laundry tomorrow. That way everything will be nice and clean for you. Only the best for you, my child. Oh, sweet dearie. You can hardly keep your eyes open. Do not worry. Just close your eyes and fall asleep. I promise, I will be here when you wake up. And when you awake... We'll do all sorts of fun things together. Just you and me. We can explore the ruins, go bug hunting, do some baking together. Whatever your heart desires. For now, just rest. Close your eyes, and drift off into dreamland, little one. I'll be right here when you wake up. I promise. Oh, my poor, innocent, naive child. They truly do not know what they've gotten themselves into, do they? I hope that they will forgive me for what I'm about to do. But things are so different down here now. Ever since what happened to the core, and Asgore, Undyne, everything. Everything's changed. Everything's so much different now. Everything's so much more... violent. Dire. Things could fall apart at any given moment. And I'm... so... So unbelievably hungry. Forgive me for what I'm about to do, my child. I just can't take it anymore. I'm running out of resources. I'm running out of food. I need to eat. I need to survive. I need to live. And the only way to do that is... Yes. Forgive me, my child. I'm just... So... Hungry.